Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to go quick look product review. What we have this time is the Yamashine Awagami or Blue Number no. 2 Nakedi 165mm knife. So I've seen six of the knives in this line. <clears throat> Got six different models that I'm doing videos for, and they've all been uh, nice and straight, pretty consistent in their build. So it's very nice to see. So I'm pretty impressed with this line. The construction of these is three layers. So the hardcore cutting edge steel is Awagami or Blue Paper Number no. 2 reactive high carbon steel. Heat treats around 61, 62 Rockwell for that coarse steel. The construction has a soft reactive iron cladding on either side of that hard core steel for support. And that cladding does have a couple of things. It's got a blacksmith or what's known as a KU or Kudauchi finish on either side. <clears throat> then you can see where the grind comes in when the metal starts being removed towards the edge as we grind towards the edge. And then the entire blade does have a food safe lacquer finish for some additional protection. That finish will wear off over time, or some people like to strip that off right off the bat with lacquer, your call. Uh, but it is an all reactive blade. There's no uh, stainless or semi stainless or anything on it, so you do need to keep it dry and not let it sit wet. The uh, weight and dimensions on these knives will vary a little bit from knife to knife, but this particular one is 173 grams or 6.1 ounces. It's about 165 on the useful cutting edge, including a little bit of that curve at the front of the blade. The overall length is around 310 millimeters or a little over 12 inches. And then the spine does vary from knife to knife. This particular one has a pretty consistent taper that gets thinner as you go. I measured about three and a half millimeters coming out of the handle, but then you can see it thins down pretty quick. So I got about 1.8 millimeters halfway down, and then way at the end here, the front, this streaks down or thins out more than a lot of Nikiti models, but this one, it's like one and a quarter, so it gets nice and thin as it goes down towards the edge. It's pretty cool. The blade height I measured at the back is about 54, <clears throat> excuse me, 54 and a half millimeters at the heel. Uh, back of the heel and then about halfway down I measure about 53.7 so it loses a little bit of height but it's fairly fairly similar height as you go down the blade. The handles are octagonal <clears throat> ambidextrous but what they have on the side is called red sandalwood. It also looks a lot like walnut so it's possible it's walnut I don't know but uh, it's got that kind of look to it. The ferrules are multi-layered um, multi-colored kind of a red and green combo uh, what's known as pack of wood which is a stabilized wood product and they've all had tight glue ups at the tang there into the handle so that's a nice uh, consistent touch on these <clears throat> circumference on this handle is about 74 millimeters or 2.9 inches where the two woods meet and then you can see you've got plenty of clearance here with the blade height and you got a spot for your finger here uh, for a pinch grip so lots of board clearance which is typical of this style of blade balance point is going to be right about there on this particular knife because it does thin out a little towards the edge so it's not as forward as some Nikiti type blades so for me that's pretty close to a pinch grip so this has a light kind of a flickable feel uh, some Nikitis have uh, heavier blades and so they get a little more chopping mask and a weight forward balance this one's kind of a little more neutral <clears throat> type feel get our beauty shot here So if you look, you'll see some embossed kanji and symbol on this right side of the blade as you'd be holding it using it. You can see it's pretty, um, really pretty smooth on the finish. You've got a, just enough kind of character that you know it's got some blacksmith hammering marks and characteristics to it. So it's got some of that, uh, you know, handmade feel to it, yet it's, you know, pretty refined as well. Um, even with the lacquer on here, which contributes to the smoothness, it's still probably going to be pretty smooth even when that wears off. They've got, uh, fit and finish wise, they've taken a little bit off the edges of the spine, so that's comfortable. They've filed down both sides of the choil, the back of the blade here into the neck, so they've done a nice job with that. I'd say the out of the box edge on these was maybe 5 out of 10. Uh, part of that could be the lacquer on them. I did sharpen the Santoku and the Bunka, and the steel sharpened up very, very well, responded nicely on the stones and uh, got really sharp, which a good Algami uh, Blue Number 2 should do. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's about it for that. Let's take a look at the cutting board profile. As I said in the opening, um, all six knives in this line that I've, I've seen in this batch have been consistently straight, pretty decent grinds, really pretty nice grinds. 
uh, good performers, just a pretty impressive line. So you can see this as a pretty flat profile, a little bit of a kind of flow into a stop at the uh, back here of the heel, and then typical, this one is kind of a curve towards the front. So these will actually rock pretty well. <clears throat> But very good chopper, so you want a little bit of belly in a Nikita. If it was like Deadpool table flat, it would be very hard to use because you'd keep banging the front and the back on the board unless you were perfectly straight when chopping. So a little bit of belly there is a good thing. Well, this is overall pretty flat profile. So just pretty impressive line of knives. The quality has been consistent from knife to knife in my batch of six I've had, <clears throat> which is really good to see. And just pretty impressive line. So if this is a style you're interested in, these are high value line, uh, nicely made. This is the Yamashin Awagami R Blue number two, Nakiri 165 millimeter knife.